Hello, I am Cat Woods, and welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to take you down memory lane with me over one of my amazing favorite, favorite Bibles. This is the very first Bible that got me on the journey of starting a Bible garden. This gem is it right here. So I was going to do a different, I was actually going to do a Bible review today, but I was looking through this and I was like, you know what? I have a two-part video and whenever I do a two-part video, rarely does anyone ever go watch the second one. So I'm going to go ahead. We're going to do all of this in one video. So I'm going to quit talking and jump on in. So this one right here is the Pray the Scripture Bible. If you can get your hands on it, grab this Bible, but it is a difficult, difficult Bible to find. I've tried to look for it myself and I could not find it. So go ahead and just if you can find it grab it up because you will not be disappointed all right so on the left side here we have the lord's prayer it is embossed you can hear secret playing on one of his toys in the living room all right this bible in particular was gifted to me from my sweet amazing husband back in 2017 2017, so that's when my journey first started. Well, in this Bible, it's technically started in 2016. All right, so we're gonna come on through here. It tells you how to use your Bible. All about the translation. So if you don't know about the God's Word translation, please make sure you read over this. This will explain it. And yes, if you notice, I did use these tabs. I rarely, I don't like using these tabs because they rip. They really rip the pages and I don't, I don't know. I, I, at the beginning, obviously I needed it because I needed to know where all the books of the Bible are like we all do. But now I just, I won't put them on my Bibles. It's too much of a headache. So we do have book introductions. And then highlighting, um, adding things to this Bible. This is where the Bible garden grew. This is where it was planted. This is where it started from. Because Bible journaling was just getting started. It was just getting hot and we were just starting to learn. I live in a small town, so it was super difficult to get any kind of Bible journaling Bible itself. I mean, <laughs> it was hard, so I really had to just use whatever I had on hand. So I used Posty Notes. This was the Bible where I learned about color coding. And I was using the, um, I do believe, who was I using this one? Oh, yeah, yeah, the flares, the, the, the paper make flares. I was using these ones. So at the beginning of my journey, this is what I was um, drawn to and what I was using. And it did really good, especially for this Bible paper. Now, I never thought I was going to share this Bible because my, yeah, I just, it was just for me. I wasn't trying to be perfectionist. If I made mistakes, I was okay with it. It was just something I was learning to do. I wanted to become stronger and understanding more of the Bible. So my thought wasn't like, oh, I'm going to share this Bible one day and people are going to see my poor handwriting. <laughs> The first time I seen it, then I was like, wow, uh, I, I better tighten up on how I'm making these notes and these Bibles. That one's a little bit better. So yeah, that started a whole other journey. But this was the Bible that I was like, okay, I can actually learn to color code. I never even knew what color coding was, never knew that was a thing. So at the beginning, you can tell it's just real simple. A few posty notes here and there. I 
underlined and highlighted and traced. And then I start to really, really come into my style. What was me? Read when you're afraid. So I knew to underline or underline and match the same tag. If you noticed all of these stickers, they are Happy Planner stickers. And these are OG Happy Planner stickers too, you guys. So just like the Bible, they're going to have the old school stuff. It's so, so, so cool. I put journaling along here with some notes. Journaling comes from the root word as journey. Does that make sense? <laughs> so just little things I was thinking about. The spirit leadership pulls us along, strengthen us as we journey. These are the laws I set before you to obey them. I got some kitty washi tape. I'm writing more in the Bible. This Bible has amazing margin space. Like, look at this. Look at all this margin space. So that's why I was able to do so much decorative stuff in here without worrying about covering up the words because there's a lot of space in here. And if we haven't caught on, if I haven't shared it yet, these are prayers. So it's Pray the Scripture Bible. We are going to pray over this chapter and these verses. So as you're reading this, we're going to physically pray over it. That is amazing. So you're not only going to pray over your favorite verses, the popular, you know, verses that we all know, we all go through. Um, we're going to pray over the whole Bible. If you're reading this Bible cover to cover, you're going to pray and read the whole Bible. So that's, that's amazing. That's what really got my hunger and my excitement was from this Bible. Because I was like, in the prayers, it kind of gives you an insight into what you're reading. So if you're confused about it, come over here, pray over it. And you're like, oh, okay, I understood that. It, it really, really helped. It just united, started something in my spirit. And I was like, oh, this is so exciting. Bloom, 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 bloom. That became my life word. At that time, I do believe it was my word of the year, bloom. But then it became like, it's just, that's my life word. I live by that every single day. And these highlights, these are the highlighters from Walmart. So they're like the gel highlighters. That pink is beautiful. I don't know if these, oh yeah, okay, so these little tabs, I was like, I don't know if they were like color coded for something, but this orange, I whenever I see orange, I know it's for prayer, so here's one big prayer when you need comfort, so that was a reminder to me. And there was a book that I used um, to go along with this Bible because I know a lot of you are like, okay, if this is at the beginning of your walk How did you know what to write? I mean, how how were you filling out so much especially at the beginning? So let me go ahead and grab that book real quick so I could share that that's just part of this Bible All right, so this was the book it was this book with this Bible these are the two that I kept together throughout the whole journey of this um, Bible. So this one is called Time Out for the Spirit, Two Minutes of Quiet Time. And what it is, is the beginning you have this whole like, when you, so it's like when a friend gets nervous, when a friend's in the hospital, when a loved one's afraid, and what it is, it's prayers. So when you need a prayer, when you need to learn a new skill, so what you can you can use it this obviously, but you can just go through when a loved one is afraid. All right, and this was the Bible I was at, so that's what that's about. I could probably take that out because I think I gifted that Bible by now. 
All right, so we have, when a loved one is afraid, we're going to read over this verse. Then we're going to reflect over this little, I call it like a devotion, quote, whatever you want to call it. It's by that person. So we can read over it. We're going to reflect over this verse that we just read. Then we're going to come down here and pray over it. And after we pray over it, we have something to do. And that's how this whole book went. When you're afraid, we have this, the reflection, the prayer, and the to-do. So when we come here, we have when, you, when you've been rejected, come down here. This is the verse. This is the prayer. And typically, I will have like on a little post, you know, the to-do. Um, some of the to-dos are easy, and I didn't feel the need to write them down. I just wanted to write down the prayers. And other times, I wrote, wrote down the to-do. Sometimes, this is just the Holy Spirit, the Greek word, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, right here. So, here's the prayer. Here's the to-do. And that's when you... So this is when you're feeling down. So I'm always, always telling you, no matter what devotional you're using, bring it to your Bible. Don't just use the devotional as a, um, because a lot of the devotionals, like this devotion, I'm not calling it a devotion, I don't know if it can, can be a devotional, but it has the prayer right here. Please don't just use this as, okay, I read my verse for the um, for the day, so I don't need to read my Bible. You need to do way more than just reading a single verse. Way more than just reading a single prayer for that one verse. You got to do more. If you don't do more, you're never going to grow on your spiritual walk. So you really got to push yourself. This one has two different prayers. As you can tell, more little um, happy planner notes. It's a plan, read a scripture, how God disciplines those dearest to his, to his heart, Moses and David, to be encouraged. Meditate on the word every day, pick a scripture and see what the Lord is trying to tell you. It's just, it's just so cool. I really wish my handwriting was way better so I can <laughs> enjoy looking at it a little bit more, but I do love how raw and real it is like I didn't I didn't care at the time I didn't care I wasn't trying to be a perfectionist and that's what's important that's when we when when we're not trying to edit ourselves when we start editing ourselves then it becomes bad like it, we we never really learn because we're only focused on us we're not focused on what is more important and it's the word of God I did a little stamp. This stamp did bleed through. So I had to, I'm going to color it normally whenever they bleed through like this. So you can see the full stamp on both sides. I'm going to come over here and I started it. I just didn't finish it because her dress is purple and pink. And over here it's pink and purple. <laughs> I typically color it on both sides so it looks like I meant to do that. When in reality, I didn't. I'm just fixing a mistake. Which I do have a process video over that. So make sure you go through that playlist. I share how to fix different mistakes and little processes I do. Now this scene right here, just from looking at this, I know I got these notes from the Life Application Study Bible. So we have the life lesson the observation, the application, and the inspiration. The Psalms is really, like every single page, it's almost filled up with color code. So I used my first color coding. Green represented something, orange represented something. Um, like every single page, I love the book of Psalms. Prayers for help. And I did a whole little box in. I'm going to use this one chapter, chapter 10, for prayers for help. Trusting in the Lord. 
I just, I love it. I love it. It makes me want to transfer these notes over in a different Bible. My spiritual mom, Connie, she's doing that. I just, I've never thought about transferring my notes. So like, yeah, like I said, every single page, it is done. It is really, really done. But I want to show you all the pretty ones. I love this. I wish they brought this back. It's a little foam. Oh, it's the glue. So sometimes the glue from the post you note know, will cause that to stick to the next page. This Bible has been packed up. I moved quite a few different times, so it's been packed up and pressed really, really tightly in boxes. Oh, this reminds me, Sherry, you should remember this one. So this page, I was, yeah, I was talking, this just, yeah, this is, this is a whole story, Sherry Brown. We both went over this and it's like, you're supposed to get a stuffed animal and it's supposed to be like your little happy face. You're, whenever you see the little happy face stuffed animal, it's just a reminder to relax and woosaw off for the day. So she sent me my first little, my first little happy kitty. It was, yeah, that was cute. That, see, just things like that. Just looking at a page, you have. I have a person, I have a moment, I have something that reminds me of a future. It's just, it's special. So, so, so special. Love these colors. So this one says, friends, when you're, what? So this right here, I don't know if you can really see it, but it says Bible study. And this right here is a little Bible study. But it says when you're, and come down here, your hands created me and made me. But this one just says friend. And it comes right here. Oh, because it's a verse over friend. See, it's just, it's real simple. It's whatever my mind thought about that time. It, it made sense to me in the moment, but it may not make sense to somebody else. Like, you know. Like, why? Why would you need to write that? Why would you need to circle it? At that time in this Bible, that's just, it's just what I needed. And as I'm talking to you guys and making a whole video, he is trying to help me feel like I'm not a crazy person talking to myself. So he's physically looking at it like, oh, okay, mom, really? Aren't you sorry? Are you just helping me out? You can lay there, but let me get the Bible. Okay. <laughs> He thinks, he's like, I don't like my mom talking to herself. I don't want her to feel like she's a crazy person. He's such a sweetheart. Such a sweet little kitten. And this right here, let's zoom in nice and closely. These are nails. These are kitty nails right over here. These ones here. You have one guess who did that. Look, he won't even look now. Now, he was looking at the Bible the whole time, and now he won't even look. <laughs> he tore my Bible page. It was this guy right here. A little goober. <laughs> oh, now, now you're looking? Look, you tore up this page, too. You tore up three, four different pages, mister. But they're just, they're little memories. It's because when he jumps up, like he never pays attention when he jumps up. And sometimes he'll jump up on the Bible and use the Bible as a way to hold himself. Oh, he's he's feeling uncomfortable now. I'm talking too much about him. Okay, come on. Come on, get your booty down. There we go. There we are. This one, as you could tell, there was definitely... You okay, Lilith? There is definitely a mistake. One of these pens at the very end here didn't I didn't let them dry. So when I closed the page or even turned the page, it smeared onto the next. So that looked like a really super inky pen. I don't know what pen. It could have been the pilot. I mean not the pilot, the paper mate flare. It didn't bleed through on the back. It just was 
transferred between the two top pages. Let me get this back in focus now that Desari had to do his little mess up here. Started talking about him, he got all embarrassed. One of the notes from my sweet sister, Sherry. What does this say? You remember? That's adorable. A little flower I doodled around this happy planter sticker. I love these butterflies. Oh, butterflies make me so happy. So happy. As you can tell, I got butterflies on my whole happy happy place over here. And people think that's a wallpaper. Every single butterfly is individual. Those are all different stickers. Some of them are fabric. Some of them are not fab, yeah, some of them are decals, some of them are stickers. Some of them are just like made out of cardboard, so <laughs> they're all different. And it, each one took time. I wish it was wallpaper. It would have been way faster. It took me like three hours to put them all up there. All these little doodles. I love those little doodles. Another little doodle over this little happy planner sticker. There's just something about looking at those plain little um, stickers. I don't, I don't like them. I mean, I like them because they're cute, but I don't like them just sitting there by themselves. I don't know why. I love these. These are like little quotes, but they're like on vellum paper. That's, that's like, so this is the second Bible that has like my blood in it, as weird as that sounds. Like I'll get like a paper cut and not even know, and I swiped some kitty hair like I thought that was. And it holds a piece of me in the Bible. This was the verse of the week. And it was talking about bones. I love this. I love this little doodle, the little girl. So beautiful. Another one of those stamps. All of these are stamps. That's a sticker though. That one didn't um, bleed through as bad. So that one, that one was pretty good. I wish I remembered what ink that was. Because a lot of the ink bleeds through. That's why I don't do stamps. Because I just, I don't have any luck with them. I, I gave that up. I don't have any luck. Love this. Another one of those vellum quotes. A little doodle here. This is a little envelope, but I can't get it out. I should have done more with the page. I do not like that washi. But hey, all time we all grow, we all 
figure out what we like and what we don't like. And we definitely, this is a Bible that definitely shows I was using whatever I had on hand. Even though I wanted to go out and buy everything that was hot and new at the time, I just used whatever I had on hand. Which is what I encourage you sisters to do all the time. After you use up your stash, then you can go buy the new stuff. I'm trying to make it a little bit brighter. The Lord's Prayer. The Lord's Prayer. Your love will be when you're the treasure. Love this quote. This is my first time trying to do an inductive Bible study. And as you can tell, I started marking down like everything. I had marked down the word, the triangle for God, the world. I make like the little world believe. I did like a little um, cloud. It's cute. It's really cute to look at. It's definitely not one you can re-read over again. So after you do that, that was it. Righty. Don't know what that was about. You will know the truth. And the truth will set you free. So a sister sent me a bunch of these and I just put them in the in the book in the verse where it's supposed to be. <laughs> Love. Get out your Bible and soak up, soak, get out your Bible and soak yourself in the word. Use a find passage, I was meant to say use and find a passage that is particularly comforting and strength, strengthens you. Use and find a passage. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to my brain. Oh, I love this. This is another tip in from my sweet sister Sherry. I just kept it in my Bible. Sorry, is on my lap just staring at me. He's just listening to me as I talk. Another one of my favorite ones. One of my sweet sisters. Oh, they didn't put their name on it. One of my sweet sisters drew this. I actually want to make a copy of this and put it in a few different Bibles. Because my word is the bloom of, you know, bloom of the year. So I want to be planted in the word and I want to bloom. I want to grow from it. So this really, really, really means a lot to me. I didn't know at the time how much this is going to mean to me. But growth is the prayer right there. So yeah, I definitely want to feature that in multiple Bibles, so I will be making copies of that. And she brew, she drew it, like she literally drew it and colored it herself. A little catnap kitty. All these. 
They've been stuck together for years. I want to know the truth about who you are because I know you are near to all who call upon you in truth. A little bell on peace. And I think that is about it. Love this little Bible sticker. It's even red letter. That's adorable. Look at that. It's a little Bible that is red letter too. <laughs> that is super cute. So yeah, and people ask, like, when do you retire a Bible? I retired this, like, that year. It just, this Bible lasted me that year. So once you can basically not, when you can go from cover to cover and everything's filled up, you know when a Bible was filled. You're like, okay, that Bible, it's done. It's time to get a new one. My sweet sister, Sonia, got me my second one. And I will come back and do a flip through of that one, too. But this is this is really the main one that got me got me started. And ever since then, the Lord has brought me Bibles that have helped me grow on a different like a different part. Maybe this one was over prayer, another one was over bloom praise. I mean, there's been a different reason for each Bible that has been in my collection. So, so yeah. Um, if you do have any questions for me, leave them in the comments below. I do love communicating for it with you all. Shows you some little, some little tags. All the little flowers of all the seeds that have been planted throughout this Bible. Love it. But okay, remember, be a creative tool in our Father's art box. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.